Tell us about your idea here and what you are actually building, first of all. Yeah, so at Visionary 777, we are bringing products to life. How? We are empowering brands to showcase their products using cutting-edge technologies such as augmented reality, virtual reality, and other interactive technologies. So where do you see the market demand for, I mean, because, you know, we talk a lot about augmented reality, virtual reality, um, but in terms of the actual application? Uh, there are a lot of applications with uh, a wide range of industries from automotive, yacht manufacturing, manufacturers, uh, watch uh, manufacturers, engineering, uh, furnitures. It can go, uh, like, uh, the list goes very long. But, but what you're here at the moment doing is uh, being able to design a car inside and out, of course, within given parameters, um, and not actually have to go to the showroom. Tell us about this. So, yeah, there are different approaches, but imagine the, the showroom of the future. Like you walk inside the showroom and you have less physical space, so you can save a lot of cost. You have one car, and then you have digital experiences all around the car. So you can take control of one interactive screen and look at all the different aspects, zoom around the cars, all the details, customize all the different colors. But moreover, for Infinity, they have a lot of technologies, so it's very important to showcase them in a visual way, understandable for everyone. So serendipitously, of course, today is the launch of the Sony VR headset, which I mean, that's something you'll be able to use definitely for this, right? Yeah, yeah for sure. So we can make use of VR headset for, from screens, also augmented reality with tablets. So all these technologies can really like bring the products to life. I mean, geographically, where do you see the most interest and demand coming through from? Is it these sort of newer emerging markets in Asia? Yeah, for sure. Like, uh, being Hong Kong, there's a lot of, uh, of potential demand in, in across all Asia, but also Europe, US. Uh, I mean, all continents can can definitely benefit of it, like because manufacturer, like headquarters, are based all over the world. How much uh, support are you getting from the company in terms of what it can take you beyond this, uh, I guess, a startup phase and being able actually to take it to market? So at the moment, we don't have any uh, investment. So uh, joining this accelerator allows us to, to meet a lot of potential investors to pitch the, our business ideas. Uh, so yeah, we are in a series A round and uh, looking forward to maybe raise some money and, um, and uh, grow our business, expand into different countries. Um, yourself, uh, France, and then uh, Nicolas Guidon, you, you left Lego yeah. to set up Visionaries 777. Yes. So what did you learn at Lego that you can actually employ now in what you're doing? So basically at Lego I was in the R&D department with Nicolas and we are looking in the future of, the, of play of toys. Uh, so how do you use uh, technology to enhance the play experience? Because Lego at the end of the day they are selling plastic bricks but they also make a lot of, uh, of uh, digital uh, games. So how do you combine both? Like get the I mean there's an overlap isn't there? Certainly. Exactly, yes. yeah. so we create a new uh, stream where both worlds actually meet together. Uh, how long to market for this uh, virtual car showroom, do you think? Uh, we believe before the end of the year. Yeah, we are currently talking with the dealer network in, uh, in Australia, Gold Coast. And it's, uh, yeah, it's in discussion, so, but hopefully before the end of this year. So you've had interest, uh, sort of, I guess, interested parties and, and a lot of interest in the technology? Exactly, yeah. OK, why, why Hong Kong, though? That, that, that's the interesting one. And then you're doing business down the Gold Coast uh, in Queensland. Yeah, uh, so Hong Kong, we, we really wanted to be in Asia. We saw the potential uh, of the, the economy here. And then uh, uh, as like, a startup, it's actually a very uh, um, friendly environment to set up a company. Uh, you have like a very clear, defined laws. The taxes are pretty low. Um, the networking and all the like, interesting people, it's a hub in Asia. So. France, thank, good luck, and uh, thank you very much, uh, France uh, Lesson from uh, Visionaries Triple. I did ask you why, why is it called Visionaries Triple Seven? Sorry. So we wanted to be called Visionaries uh, for various reasons. You know, we envision the future and so on. And seven 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 is kind of like a lucky number, and also a differentiator. With like, if you Google Visionaries, then we need to have like some kind of digits and.